I have decided that every Friday for the foreseeable future that I will be recommending books to you, whether that's genre or uh, heck even like pretty book covers, whatever you want. You could leave requests for what type of book recommendations you want me to share for the upcoming Friday. For this Friday, today, I'm going to be recommending to you books that are really long, 500 pages and up, just because I feel like, especially right now, a lot of us, I know not everyone, but a lot of us are inside right now and we have a lot of extra time. Oftentimes we do push away books that are really long and we put them off forever and ever, but this could be the perfect opportunity for you to read some longer books. So without further ado, I have a giant stack of recommendations that I want to share with you. First, I've got a beast of a book. Obvious. They're all beast of a book, but Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. This is Stephen Chbosky's second work that he has released out into the world. His first book was The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I loved. And then his second book that he came out with is this horror novel which is very much in the vein of Stephen King so if you are a Stephen King fan then I would highly recommend this because it's so similar in style in characteristic in length to be honest it's highly entertaining highly engrossing it is scary at parts too the only downfall is that this book does have a rather um maybe disappointing ending sort of disappointing depending on who you ask but um it's really good and I really recommend that speaking of Stephen Stephen King. I have 112263. This is one of my absolute favorite Stephen King books. Well, I have quite a few favorites, but this is definitely up there. And this is a fictionalized time travel take on stopping the Kennedy assassination. And I know that sounds weird, but it's so good. And this is one of the Stephen King books that I would recommend to you if horror is not really your go-to sort of book, because this is filled with so much action and adventure and romance. I love all of the characters in this book, and I just love all the places that this takes us to and it's such a it's such a great great book and I still haven't watched the TV series yet but I really really want to. Next I have a classic that you need to read at some point in your life. If you haven't read this book you just you have to and that is Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is just one of those books that you read and then you finish and you just kind of sit there and think about life and question everything. It's such a good good story. I read this a couple years ago when I was um, on a vacation with my family and I spent most of my time reading this instead of spending time with my family, which is kind of bad. If you can get through the beginning of this book, you'll slowly get accustomed to the writing style and then you'll just fall into the story. So I highly recommend this. It's so good. It's just one of those existentialist books that everyone should read in their life. So read it. Ooh, I love this next one. A Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I'm sure most people have read this, but in case you haven't, it's about this reclusive film director. He's a very underground filmmaker. His daughter dies and no one knows where he is and it's about finding the daughter, if she was murdered, how she was murdered, finding this director. It's just it's so enticing and thrilling and it just keeps you on your toes. Also it's a multimedia book so there's a lot of interviews and internet um, columns within this. It's put together in such a fun way that just makes the reading experience that much more fun, I guess. I don't know. And it's also kind of creepy. It is a pretty scary book at the same time. Um, this next one I haven't read since maybe freshman or sophomore year of high school, and it's been a long time. So I can't quite tell you if it's still great, if it holds up, but I loved it when I read it, and that is The Passage by Justin Cronin. This is a kind of a vampire story. It's very post-apocalyptic, but the vampires are really different. They don't really, they're not like typical vampires. It's super, super engrossing, and I was so attached to one of our main characters. I just really liked it. I don't know if the rest of the series is good, but when I read this, I really loved it. I would love to reread it, which I might soon. And then we have my favorite book of basically ever, as we all know and that is Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Well actually Meg is my favorite book but this is the other book that's basically my favorite book. This is just the classic of all classics and it's a masterpiece and it's beautiful and it just makes me so happy inside. I just want everyone in the world to read this story. So please, please take this time. Take this time to read this story because it's not just about a guy hunting a well. It's so much more. It is so much more, I tell you. It is so much more. 
Another one of my favorites that I really want to recommend to you is We the Drowned by Karsten Jensen. This was originally uh, translated from Danish, I believe, and it is a, a fictional story that takes place in Denmark in a small little seaside town. And it's kind of a multi-generational story where we follow the lives of everyone in this town. And it is such a gorgeous novel because it's a novel of the sea, it's a novel of the sailors, of their wives, of everything that they go through, the ups and downs. It's just so such a gorgeous, beautifully written story. If you love historical fiction, if you love um, books that take place on the sea, if you love sort of nautical fiction, then this is for you. One that I read not too long ago is Middle Game by Seanan McGuire. Now I love Seanan McGuire and also all the books under her pen name Mira Grant. This is a book, if you enjoy alchemy and gods and, and people that are trying to rule everything, and if you love a good action adventure where people are fighting and dying and there's just so much going on, this is also a really good story because it really portrays the bond of siblings in a way and I just really like it and I highly recommend it. You have to read this next one if you haven't read it and it is The Terror by Dana Simmons. This book haunted me. This book made me feel so uncomfortable at times and it made me creeped out and it just left me on edge. I couldn't put this book down because I needed to finish reading this book. I needed to know the outcome of this crew. For those that don't know this is about the ship that gets stuck in the Arctic and it's it's based off of a true story so as we all know everyone on this crew dies so you're kind of just following the story and trying to see what happens to them in the end on how they all perish and it's just it's a masterpiece. I still haven't watched the show either. I'm really bad with watching the adaptions of books once I read them, but I really want to watch the show. Uh, the book is amazing and it's haunting and it will mess you up, but in a good way, I guess I could say. I don't know. And the last book that I want to recommend to you is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. This is basically a mystery story. We follow our main character as he gets pulled into this murder mystery case. He gets involved with this almost secret table of 12 men where they're discussing all of these murders and crimes that have taken place in this town. All of these men are secretly involved and our main character is kind of pulled along for the ride. It's been a while since I've read it too, but I love this so much, so. I recommend it. I think that's it. I think those are all the books that I would like to recommend for you today that are giant. I could probably find more, but for now I think that's fine. I would love to know your recommendations for books that are 500 pages or longer. What is a really long book that you've read that you think everyone should read? Let me know. I love recommendations. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next Friday for one of these recommendations. Let me know what you want me to recommend next because if you don't, I'm probably going to recommend pirate books because I have a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Bye!